Ladies and gentlemen, can I have a round of applause please for your second job, Chris Fox! <laughs> Hey, thanks, Steve. So, Steve's going to be my glamorous assistant tonight, and I know he likes naked mole rats, so I think he's going to enjoy this. Um, so, uh, it's my job tonight to um, uh, show off on behalf of the naked mole rat, which is uh, rather an unassuming and secretive uh, animal that lives completely underground, but has many things to show off about. Right, so here's the beastie, zooming out of the screen at you. So, the naked mole rat, um, as you can see, it's a lovely looking animal. Um, roughly translated, its scientific name, Heterocephalus glaber, means animal with a loose skin and an oddly shaped head. Uh, and I'll return to the loose skin presently. Um, but it doesn't quite do it justice, that description, I think. And in the past, we've uh, referred to them as a penis with teeth. Um, and I'm not allowed to make any Richard Gere jokes tonight, by the way. And uh, also, they, um, the sober tooth sausage is quite a good description. But one of my favourites is from a colleague, Andrew Leach, who thought they looked like a freshly shaved hamster. Uh, I think that's a really uh, funny description. Okay, so naked mole rats are found in the um, arid regions of East Africa, including Kenya, Ethiopia and Somalia. And where their burrows are, I don't know if you can see, are these volcano-like molehills. Um, otherwise, they're completely um, invisible, and most of the locals don't know what they look like. Okay, and it's um, the uh, adaptations to this harsh, underground, um, claustrophobic environment which give the naked mole rats its uh, unusual and unique biological features, which I want to take you through. So first, the appearance of the animal itself. Um, Obviously, the naked skin is one of the most obvious things, but it's one of the most difficult things to explain because 30 or more other species of African mole rats all have fur. Um, living underground in the dark, they don't really need vision, so the eye is vestigial. You can just see uh, there. They do have a functioning eyelid. Um, they probably can't really see a lot, though. Um, the ear is also um, very hard to see. There's no external ear. Um, just that little hole there, which gives it a streamlined appearance and, you know, obviously prevents soil clogging up um, at the rear. And um, the rather sort of pig-like nose you can see there is important. Um, olfaction uh, is a really important sense when you're in the dark. Um, can you move on to the next one? And you probably can't hear the twittering away, because although... Um, they don't have an external ear. They do have at least 17 different vocalizations. I don't know if we can pick up that, Steve. Not that well. Anyway, um, not to worry. Um, the, uh, the loose um, skin, if we could come to the next one, is going to be nicely demonstrated here by my daughter Lorna, who I'd also like to acknowledge, um, who took most of the really beautiful pictures we're looking at here today. Now she's um, holding a mole rat there by the scruff, and you can see um, they're quite happy being picked up like that. Next one, Steve. And if we look in a bit more detail, you can see um, that the skin is really um, elastic, uh, and this is a really interesting feature, and it's thought to have evolved um, to help them uh, avoid getting stuck in tight places in these uh, claustrophobic burrows. Um, but more recently, it's been discovered that this elastic skin um, is due to the production of a, a compound known as um, high molecular mass hyaluronin, and it's like a gloopy substance um, secreted um, in the extracellular matrix. And um, also, uh, this recently been shown to give naked mole rats one of their famously newly discovered features, which is a resistance to cancer. Um, okay. Right, moving on. Um, other characteristic features are the, the teeth, obviously. These are rodent moles, not like our insectivore moles that you'll see around the countryside here. So they dig with their teeth. <clears throat> and um, the mouth seals up behind those um, extra buccal incisors. Those teeth can grow um, up to 0.6 of a millimetre a day, so they're ever-growing. And by sealing the mouth behind the teeth, uh, they don't swallow soil as they're, as they're burrowing. Okay, next one. Okay, this is um, a really nifty um, video of a CT scan 
uh, done by collaborator Phil Cox, and it shows you um, not only um, have they got these huge teeth, but they've also got massive jaw muscles. Um, these are the coloured areas here. So in the naked mole rat, um, its jaw muscles are about 25% of its total muscle mass, compared to 1% for us. So it's like almost having your whole thigh muscle around the jaw. This gives them amazing burrowing um, capabilities. Next. And here we go again with some sound you may or may not be able to hear. And can you click it one more time, Steve? We should get some video coming through. Here we go. So using this amazing um, uh, jaw muscles and teeth, uh, they can excavate massive burrows. Um, this one here has been um, plotted out uh, in Kenya, three to four kilometers in total tunnel length. And an average size naked mole rat colony uh, can shift over four tons of soil in a year, another amazing feature. Uh, amongst the labyrinth of all of these tunnels, which are dug looking for underground roots and tubers, which is their staple diet, there's a communal nest chambers, and also uh, they have communal toilet chambers as well. That's another thing that naked mole rats uh, show off about, their uh, hygienic toilet habits. Okay, next one please, Steve. And here's um, an example of uh, the kind of food they eat. So their staple diet is vegetarian and underground roots and tubers. And this is the key to their uh, highly social um, behavior. Next one. Um, and you can see this mole rat here is burrowed into a large tuber. And these things in the arid environment are very hard to find. They're widely dispersed. And one of the selective pressures which has led to naked mole rats being highly social mammals is that they need to cooperate together to forage and find this food. Okay. And so sociality reaches its pinnacle um, among mammals in the naked mole rat. You can see here a pregnant breeding queen. She's the only female that reproduces uh, in large colonies, um, which commonly contain about 100 animals, but sometimes up to 300 uh, in one group. Yet there's still only one breeding female. Next one. Um, well, I'm not sure how well you can see that. Here's another breeding queen. Um, although she's the only one breeding, you can see um, this huge pregnant female. Um, they can give birth to litters of up to 27 in one go. That's another show off. <laughs> uh, next please, Steve. Um, okay, and here you can see after the happy event, there's some pups suckling on a queen there. These um, breeding females can carry on reproducing into old age. Um, one female is known to have produced over 900 offspring um, in a 24-year lifespan. This is um, amazing. Okay, and um, the non-breeding animals in the colony um, help to rear the offspring of the queen, as you can see here, as one of their cooperative behaviours. Next. Um, ah, there we go, there's some um, newly born pups. So this um, cooperative care of young is... Um, characteristic behavior of, um, of uh, eusocial insects and has um, led people to compare naked mole rats to uh, social insects like bees, ants and wasps. Um, there's a representation of a typical colony here. So the breeding queen's at the top. Um, she mates with one or two or maybe three specific breeding males. The rest of the colony are reproductively suppressed. They never breed. 99.9% um, of them will never reproduce. They remain reproductively suppressed for an entire lifespan. Um, however, you can switch their reproduction on again um, if you take one out away from the suppressing influence of the queen. Uh, and they'll go through puberty in the space of a week and they get very aggressive and then they switch on reproduction. Please. And this dominant control of reproduction has been of great interest to biologists. and. Um, over the years, people have been studying the evolution and maintenance of this highly social behavior. And during the course of that, thanks, next one, um, what's happened is people have realized that naked mole rats live for an incredibly long time. So 32 years is the record at the moment, which is another thing they show off about. And that's 10 times longer than a mouse of the same body weight, because these things are actually quite small. Um, for those of you that haven't seen one, they're about that kind of size. And they also have toys made after them as well. Um, and five times longer than you would predict from their body size. Okay. 
So living underground is a harsh environment. The um, energy, uh, the need, in that niche, the energy is highly restricted. The food's hard to find. Oxygen's low. Carbon dioxide builds up to be very high. Tunnels are very tight. And that leads, uh, adaptations to that harsh, harsh niche gives us all of the weird and wonderful aspects of naked mole rat biology, some of which I've described, like their insect-like sociality, uh, long life, uh, resistance to some kinds of pain, which I haven't mentioned, cold-bloodedness, naked, stretchy skin, and this cancer resistance. Okay. And so I think you'll agree that the naked mole rat um, is quite a show-off. <laughs> okay, thanks for listening. Fox, ladies and gentlemen!